Whoa, g'day legends. Welcome to uh, another edition of Product Reviews with Rip and Collect. What's going on, AJ? Thank you for tuning in, my man. Hope you're well. Uh, I'm in the stream tonight. Uh, just trying out a few different things and also we're going to try out some of the new products that we've got in store um, some really uh, some really interesting stuff I must say uh, not necessarily the stuff I collect but there might be some stuff that hits the spots with you uh, old-school collectors and uh, if anybody is uh, obviously AJ's watching uh, whoever else is watching would love if you could help us out if there's anything that you're in the area of expertise uh, but yeah, some random fun pack breaks at the moment. Uh, we've got a couple of box breaks listed on our website at www.rippercollect.com. You can see those over the other side uh, of the screen over there uh, before I disappear. Um, so we've got an NBA AFL debut, uh, select footy stars, as well as a return to F1 and NRL as well. Uh, some nice little cheap ones, and we've tried to make those NBA as valuable as we can as well. Yo, Club Penguin, <laughs> MLS is sick, awesome, well, uh, yeah, if there's anything uh, anything else that you guys want to see ripped open, as long as it's not a whole hobby box or something, let us know and uh, I'll see what I can do, but yeah, some, some really interesting product here, uh, I've got Olympic cards, we've got some stuff that I have no idea about, and I just grabbed a pack of uh, everything we had doubles of, so uh, yeah, looking forward to ripping these open and seeing what, what they look like, um, we've opened up a couple in store, uh, some really cool different cards and some of these are really old as well so uh, you never know what you can find in here i don't have any uh, toppies or sleeves with me but um if we do hit something big i'll run, go running over and grab some uh if there's anything you guys want me to break first or i think i'll save these ones for last i know that these are well i've been told that these are mbappe rookie year so it'd be cool if we could hit something of mbappe there um but the rest of it i really don't know <laughs> uh cool i'm just gonna pack these up but yeah so, so and go through each one as we go guys uh if you haven't already please go over and listen to our podcast over at the coach Carter podcast uh we're releasing two episodes a week lots of fun lots of giggles uh we try to make it a bit of education um but get carried away sometimes with our banter <laughs> so uh yeah, so if you guys can, please go over and head to that. Uh, again, if you want to get involved with any of our box breaks, head over to our website, www.rippingcollect.com. All righty, let's go. Oh, Flinny Flintstones. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Flintstones first. Why not? So these are Topps Flintstones cards. So there's eight modern Stone Age cards, movie cards, and one sticker. Uh, 1993, two etched foil cards randomly inserted in every 36 pack. Sorry, I'll get that up so you guys can read it as well. The uh, 1993 Universal Studios. All right, let's see what uh, what these look like. I've, these actually look really cool. Um, I think Blakey opened up the pack in store and uh, and left them on the counter. <laughs> I know he's driving home at the moment. Give Blakey some love. Alrighty, so here we go. Up first, we've got a Wilma Pal Betty's into a Wilma walks out. Okay, so these are like scenes from the movie. I'm assuming some iconic scenes. Oh, we've got a what the what the. <laughs> Is that something, or <laughs> maybe the original Flintstones? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, it's a sticker. Sorry, guys. Apologies. So there's a cool little sticker there, a Rocky Rescue. These are really cheap as well, guys, if you guys want any of these. Uh, an immovable object. The boy's getting after it. Uh, Fred's personal secretary. Who's Halle Berry? In her prime. Uh, we got a punching, punching out. There you go. That one's for you, AJ. That's odd. <laughs> NHL product review. I don't think I had a bit. I had a bit of a look for you, bro. Uh, a Titanic toddler. Uh, executive action and shopping with Wilma. Bit of a Wilma pack there. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any NHL, bro. Uh, we did. There was a couple of packs, but I believe they must have got uh, snagged up. So there was some old product there. There's some old NFL as well, but they're a little bit more expensive, and we've only got a couple left, so I wasn't too sure. Oosh, oosh. There we go. First pack was some Flintstones. Again, all these packs are available in store, guys. We'll go from the top here, Samurai Jack. Anybody know what this is? Uh, Cartoon Network, Warner Brothers, 72 regular cards, six rare die cut cards, and six ultra rare foil Japanese cards. Huh. Okay. Some of these uh, some of these low-key products have got some really cool looking looking cards because obviously they're not they don't have the mainstream popularity, so they're trying to make them as as uh, appealing as they can, I guess. Okay. With a different different version of cardboard here. Samurai Jacks. Okay, okay. These aren't, don't tell me there's a back to front. No, they've got something on the back of them. So just because this is a product review, uh, it's got the characters, I guess, what they do on the back. Uh, another Samurai Jack. Okay, so these are just like picture cards. There you go. All right. Okay, we've got something different at the back here. It might just be a sticker. No. <laughs> What a dud. Okay. Maybe don't get anything in uh, of these uh, Samurai Jacks, guys. <laughs> Not too sure. Not sure. Did anybody watch Samurai Jack when they were younger? I oh, know I didn't. Oh, yeah, that'd be good, bro. That would be sick. Any Wayne Gret Gretzky years? A uh, bit of Baywatch. Why not? Bit of Baywatch. There's also one uh, in this desert storm. There's uh, one stick of bubble gum. Who's gonna eat it? If Blake was here, I'd make him eat it. Someone come down to the shop and uh, I'll give you a pack of cards. <laughs> if, you, if you eat the desert storm uh, chewing gum. Oh, sick. There you go. Nice. Off the bat, we've got a Hulk Hogan Baywatch behind the scenes. Bit of BTS on your Baywatch. Jeez, these are all stuck together. We know what that means. <laughs> when it's Baywatch, someone's got into these packets a bit early and found a Pamela Anderson. Sick. We'll take Hulk Hogan. That's not Pamela Anderson, is it? <laughs> Back in her day. Uh, so nice little... Uh, yeah, nice little base sets. Here she is. No. Episodes card. She must be in here somewhere. A uh, bit of a checklist there. Jeez, these last three. Oh, that looks like Blakey's mugshot. Old, uh... Don't know what, who that is, what it is. <laughs> This is before my time, guys. And another Baywatch there. So sick. We pulled a... Uh, that, that's cool. I'll take the Hulk Hogan for sure. Straight in the PC. So that's cool. I am a real American. Give me some half. Yeah. You know what? Let's go get another pack. I'll be back in a sec. I'm back, I'm back. All right. Let's try hit some Hoff. Some little Hasselhoff, uh, a little bit of Pamela. We've hit the uh, Hulk Hogan, so. I know that there was heaps of these, so why not? They're actually cool cards. Let's go, let's go. He's placed his order for the Hoff. There you go, your average Sunday evening. Or oh, almost. On oh, one. There he is. <laughs> oh, look at that. Sick. We found him. We we came, we saw, we conquered. 
Oh, there she is as well, back to back. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes, two in the one pack. There she is. Is that a doll? Sick. I'll, uh, I'll be saving that one straight to my PC. Kane, you got the hop. <laughs> oh, that is a tough one, Nelson. That is a very tough one. They, they look very alike. Grew up, I grew up on uh, the old Trish status. So I think I would have to say Kelly Kelly. <laughs> uh, oh, mate, looking at that card, I'm going to go Pam, Pam, Pam. Um, very tough decision. And their prime. Oh, can see why everyone went nuts over her though, eh? I might bust a nut over her later. <laughs> Can't say that. I shouldn't have said that, guys. Apologies. It's not right when Blakey's not here. All right. Uh, the old Desert Storm. All right, free pack of cards to uh, anyone that's willing to uh, to eat the gum inside. Pun intended. <laughs> yeah, boy, you know. Uh, that's funny. Crazy how, uh, yeah, you, when were, these, when were those cards made? I think like 90, 95. Uh, you know, you look back at photos from 1995 and they didn't have all the filters and everything. <laughs> they didn't have the uh, filters, so. Oh, that's rank. That's rank as, it's not even in plastic. Was that in plastic? It wasn't even in plastic. It's stuck to the card. Let's hope this isn't a rare card. Oh no, look at that. There's a bit of, <laughs> a bit of paper on it. After I was breaking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mate. After I, was, after I was sorting, mate. These ones are going in sorting trays. Uh, look at that. Oh, that doesn't smell right either. Doesn't look right. Usually bubblegum's red, pink, or um, not golden. <laughs> all right, uh, not sure. Okay, there you go. That's all it was stuck to, so we'll take it. Uh, moving in. Uh, Desert Storm, Is that was that an old show? Desert Storm, am I missing out on something? Maybe a, a game? Sunset of the F-14. Okay, Secretary of Defense, Dick Cheney. Jeez, look at the look he's giving us. We've got a bit of Pam, bit of Dick. Norman Schwarzkopf. Kopf. Norman Schwarzkopf, General, the Gen. Uh, heat Storm in the Gulf. USS America. America. Uh, F-15 fighter plane. And a satellite dish. Takes me back to the days. The old Fox Cell days. Do not miss those. What do you guys think of the camera in stream? I think we're going to work on it. We get a little bit crisper. It's a little bit delayed, but um, I don't know. I like it. It's fun. I just need my man here. My, my main man, Blakey. All right. I might have to save the soccer rule for last. Uh, anyone having some beers? Because we've got some Miller cards since 1885, 1855, well, more so. Uh, so these are from uh, the official Miller company and looks like they're 1995. These are actually some really cool cards. Uh, one of the boys opened some up earlier. Hey, straight off the bat, little foil, season's greetings. There you go, must be a Miller factory. A little hollow. Oh, okay, we'll go from the back here. There you go, Milwaukee. Bit of Milwaukee on there for you, Blakey. Bit of Bock beer. We've got some exciting uh, exciting news as well regarding, uh, regarding beer. Uh, it's also, yeah probably already said too much but stay tuned guys in the next like two weeks we're going to be uh releasing something really really cool uh something to do with beer miller it's a little bit of miller uh 
again, some really cool art artwork on these cards. These are from 1995. Pretty good condition, really nice artwork for some older cards. These must just all be like, I could imagine these all on like uh, poster boards, you know, bill, uh, sorry, billboards, champagne bottle beer. There you go, Mr. Miller himself. Going for that Blakey Mo. And sick. Yeah, these are cool. These are really nice artworks. So if you're a fan of the beer, fan of any Millers, we got you, we got you, lad. Whatever you need, lad. Pamela, Hasselhoff, Soccer, Miller, got you. Rip and collect beer. <laughs> yeah, a little hint there, my man. Uh, it's more like a, more like a Blakey brew, bruh. More of a Blakey brew than anything else. But uh, yeah, some exciting things and some really cool things that we're going to be doing with it too. So. We'll, uh, we'll make it an official announcement uh, later on this, probably this week, uh, probably next week, early next week. Um, but yeah, for anybody that is watching this, we got some beer coming. We got some beer coming. And uh, it's, it, is, uh, it is celiac friendly, so it's gluten free. We've got some gluten free beer. It's going to be some exciting stuff. So again, stay tuned for uh, further announcements. But uh, you heard it here first, guys, and if, unless you've uh, listened to our podcast, which actually is getting released tomorrow. So there you go. Stream first. Don't know if I want to be drinking. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, me neither, mate. Uh, yeah, no, nah, Blakey Brew, not Blakey Juice. <laughs> Blakey Juice just it never, never sounded right from the get-go. He wanted to call it that. Get his juices flowing. Uh, the F1 card's been sent out. Uh, all postage is getting sent out Saturday morning. There was so much after the last uh, after last week because we broke like 15 times. And uh, and Blakey's just got all of his card storage system sorted. So uh, they'll be out by Saturday, bro. They should get to you next week. Uh, if there's any other, if there's anything else, man, just uh, set us up. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I've seen these. I've seen these pictures when I was younger. I never knew what they were from. So Hagar, 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 it's horrible. Okay, it might be just a checklist. Okay, nothing too special, just some comics. Yeah, see this this guy here, he looks familiar. I don't know, these characters look familiar. Let's, let's face it, Helga, it's a man's world. Okay, so Helga must be a chick. Uh, it's the famous Norwegian hat dance, and that's the last one. Wow, okay. Yeah, there are some there are some weird stuff here, guys. Um, rather me open them than you guys. <laughs> Pronounce Hagar. Hagar, sorry. Okay, Hagar. <laughs> Shouldn't have said it like that. Hey, Hagar. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. All right, uh, we'll go for these two next. So we got a little club penguin. I Card Jitsu, so might find a uh, Eddie Bravo in here as a, as a club penguin, maybe. <laughs> oh, mate, you are hilarious. Stephen McGill. Hey, guy. <laughs> hey, guy. All right, let's go. Ladies. All right, so, oh, we got a little hollow up first. So Club Penguin used these cards to customize. Not sure if these are around the right way. Okay, so they're like playing cards. Sick, there you go. Little hollow there. Double necked guitar. So the powerful instrument first appeared during Music Jam 2010. It was released by surprise halfway through the festival. So Penguins had one more chance to rock out. Okay, so it's a power card, 76 of 110, and it is a little hollow. So I'm not sure if they're guaranteed. Oh, legend. Of course, mate. Haha, <laughs> big Stevie on Insta, bro. Still need to pick up your B-Day sleeves and top loaders. Yeah, come on down, my man. We got you. We got you. All right, I did rip the uh, biggest card, but here's the test. 
Anyone remember Club Penguin Underwater Adventure? Mine Cave Construction, Squid Lid, and Customize Your Own Penguin. Okay, okay. If you're into that, if you're into that, I remember playing Club Penguin when I was younger. And Mini Clip, Mini Clip, uh, what was it? What was the maths one? Mathletics? Showing my age there, eh? Half of you guys probably like, what the hell is that? I grew up on Hard Knocks. All right, here we go. Pride of the Nation, Australian Olympic Trading Card Series. So this is, uh, these have just stood out to me because of the uh, the packaging, obviously. It's got some cool uh, rainbow sort of uh, blast to it. Dynamic Card Club made these ones. Uh, trying to see what year, 1996. So anyone remember those Olympics? I wasn't even born. Yo, Gaza, what is going on, lad? How are we, bro? Still can't believe I shot three in a row on that hoop. Pure fluke, mate. It's it's uh, it's interesting what the what the shot can do to you. Make you a superstar. Uh, Ninety six. So we won't be in there. <laughs> Who are we looking for? Maybe some. Nah, Bradbury. Bradbury was the following. Okay. Alrighty, for the yachting, a bronze. He must have got bronze. Uh, Barcelona. In 1992, Lars Klepek, Clint Robinson, front runners, canoeing. What do you guys think about the? Uh... Oh, nice. There you go. Little tennis duo, Atlanta contenders, Woodford and Wood Woodbridge. Geez, he looks a bit young to be playing. He looks about 15 years old. And the bro there is just, yeah. Uh, Malcolm Allen from Swimming. Louise McPaul. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to watch the Olympics. It's, the, you know, once every four years that we'll probably watch sports that we don't always watch and get behind it too. Kieran Perkins, Sam Riley, etc. for Swimming. Yes, legend. Thank you. Uh, my jump in the MLB, bro. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Keen. Uh, Matthew Dunn, Swimming. <laughs> Stitch up on the photos there. Uh, opening ceremony. There we go. Okay, some cool cards there. Did we end up hitting Kira Perkins, Sam Riley? Nah, just a Matthew Dunn, big Dunny boy. We got we got a bronze uh, a bronze medalist. That's cool. Old Lars for yachting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're up to our soccer product, which uh, there's only a couple of packs here, but um, there's 2006 Upper Deck MLS, which I believe must be the uh, American. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I know you as well. <laughs> For good reasoning. Um, so we got MLS, we got Russian 2018, and some match attacks, uh, 2010 to 2011, and 2009 to 10. Um, We'll go to the MLS first, and then we'll rip into the match attacks and finish on the Russian 2018. MLS is American. Thank you, brother. Major League Soccer. Have you heard Kawhi Leonard's laugh? Love that. Yeah, dude. Uh, 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 uh. He doesn't laugh much, but when he does... Um, yeah, the, that dude is full of, uh, full of enthusiasm and energy. I reckon he'd be the funniest dude to hang around. One of those guys that really doesn't try to be funny, but just is. Uh, Jovan Kurowski. He's not American, but uh, he played in America. Chris Klein. Anyone in 2006 that we're looking for, guys? The MLS? I think Beckham wasn't there, was he? I know he went to the ML, uh, MLS. Uh, Diddy Ben Dayan. Johnny Walker, goalkeeper. Can't get more American than that, the old Johnny Walker. And champions card of Ante Razov. Ante Razov there. Cool, so just some base upper deck cards, but um, might be some rookies that we're looking for there that I'm sleeping on, especially in the American market. Um, started to open up a little bit more soccer product, but Still not too sure on 
half the people in there. That's the sorry. That's the sticker from the club penguin. If anyone was was wondering, Razov, <laughs> you're good with your words, Stephen. Razumov, <laughs> sick. All right, so we'll go. We'll go 2019. It looks like is that Thierry Henry? No, it's probably not. Probably just creep that. Uh, that is, is that Stephen. Stephen, not Gerard. It's not Gerard. He played for Liverpool, right? Ah. Oh, Raz me off. Jesus. All right. So some 2009 to 2010 EPL uh, soccer cards from Match Attacks, which is a Topps product. Again, this is the 2009-2010. Six players per packet. Once we get it open. Whoa. Okay. So these have got uh, some points and stats on them. Uh, Liam Ridgewell. A couple of back to fronts there. Imagine if we had two autos. Uh, Tony Pulis, manager. Jack Collison. Gareth Barry, man you. Riga Mustafa, that is a cool name. Old Riga Mustafa. Like Mufasa, John Terry, that's his name. That's his name. John Terry, of course. Thank you, lads. London Donovan is in the MLS. How much is the MLS? I think they're like two to five dollars a pack. Cheap as chips, mate. And Jose Bozingua. Not sure how, who to tell what rookies are in here. But uh, nice little rip there. We got three packs to go, guys. Thank you to everybody that is watching. Oops. We're about to wrap up down here at the shop. Go home. I think we've got, what have we got for dinner? Spag bowl. Love it. Love a late dinner. Late dinner spag bowl for dinner. What's on the table for you boys and girls? Uh, Vince Grella. Uh, Stephen Hunt. Gareth Barry. Uh, Elliot Grandin. Not a John Terry. We've got a Paulo Ferreira and Zat Knight. Zat? How's that name? How's that name, guys? Dry. Jose Bozingua, the man with one eyebrow. The AD of soccer, hey? Jose Bozingua. All right. I know that Mbappe is the rookie going off in these packs. It'd be cool to, uh, very cool to open one up in a product review. But if we don't hit it here, guys, just know that there probably is going to be one amongst those packs. We've got a few of these, uh, a few of these packs in store. We've got an Ilya Kutupov. Okay, we're a little back to front here. Mbappe, nah, nice for Australia. Miles uh, Jednak. So that was back to front because it's got more of a hollow look to it. So if I can hold it still. It's got like a hollow glare around it. A fan's favorite of Miles. Um, that was that was the front card. Uh, Yuto Natomo. Kai. I'm not going to bother. Beniga. And Sergio Romero. There you go. Stephen Hunt. <laughs> he knows his stuff, mate. You, you're, I'm impressed. Very impressed. Knows his sports, the old Stephen. He, sorry, that fractured Peter Chick's skull meant he wore a padded helmet in the nets for the rest of his career. Ah! Remember playing FIFA and I was like, why does that dude have a head yet? Nah, you're on, you're on. 
You're on, lad. All right. Last pack for this little break. Thank you guys once again for tuning in. Uh, if you do want to play along with us, uh, we are breaking on Saturday. We've got NBA, NFL uh, all over to the side there. So we've got a nice little NBA up there. Uh, I'm not even going to try. NBA, F1, AFL, and, oh Jesus, and NRL there. Uh, William Federo Valverdeer. Uh, this fella. Uh, this fella. <laughs> uh, Tom Jurich. There you go. It's not an Mbappe, it is a Subasic. Cool. Oh man, I just feel like ripping packs all the time now. To be honest, favorite card of everything that we just opened, I think you guys know what it is. It is not that card, but the card that you guys have seen on stream would have to be the Baywatches. Pamela Anderson. It would have to be the back-to-back -back Pamela's and the David Hasselhoff. Heaps of Baywatch packs in store, guys. Uh, multiple of what everything that I've sort of ripped open today. Um, I'll just sort of give you guys a bit of a review on some of the different cards, some of the different things that we've got in store. Uh, I guess while we are streaming live, I'll quickly run and grab one of those cards that I posted the other day because we've been getting a lot of uh, attention from that. Uh, they are the horse racing cards. We've got a few in store. So legends, you'll have to check these out. Uh, these are so cool. Uh, made from Sideline Series. We have shouted them out on our socials, so if you are interested in any of these, make sure you head to our website. These are 30 bucks, just $30, uh, and some of the favorite favorite horses that run every week, every weekend. There you go, for any punter, any collector. I know this name, So You Think. I know that's quite a popular horse. Just really, really nice artwork on these. Uh, we've also got the dogs. Again, some amazing artwork there. You off? See you, bros. Um, these have also got a trainer's auto on it. So he's managed to get the trainers to autograph the card. Again, another sick little addition. And same thing here, trapeze artist. This is one of my favorites. And once again, that one's autographed on the back there. Looks, this one looks a bit like uh, the the horse has actually signed it, but it is the uh, it is the jockey. But again, some really nice things uh, in store, guys. Thank you all once again for tuning in. Uh, put that in a one touch, easy to clean. <laughs> yeah, mate, that's it. That's it. You know the you know the rules. All right, guys. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed that product review. Uh, once again, if you are looking to break with us, head over to our website, grab a couple of spots in our breaks. Uh, it helps us move forward. It helps us break. Um, and yeah, let it rip.